What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the ISF. This is a long overdue change that is needed, but today we are going to be replacing the Today we're going to be replacing the heater damper assembly. I'll put all the part numbers in the description, but if you're like me and this is broken, it's time to get it replaced. So part number 87020-30020 in the box. You get this, some screws, the cover. I think this is what it broke. This is what broke on mine. And a ceiling strip. So let's start uh, pulling the glove box out and going from there. All right, so behind here is what we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pull this out because I've gotta get my wires out of the way. So my wires come through this spot here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the glove box to get in here. So we got screws here. And uh, then I think we gotta pop out the ear bag below. So for here, we're just gonna pull down on this, put some clips in there, and then that's gonna come out. Make sure you plug out this light here. Okay, then we've got uh, some bolts right here. One and two over there. And we should be able to get this thing out. And three, so pop the side cover off. There's a bolt right there as well. Then we've got uh, a screw here, a screw on that side. And now we should be able to take out the glove box. I'm just going to disconnect these uh, wires here. Yeah, right in there it's broke. So, what we have to do is get this out. Uh, take this, take whatever needs to be taken apart. Get it out, put the new one in, and we should be good to go. Alright, next we're going to get this out of the way. We're gonna take this screw out. And I'm just gonna slide this out, pull it down. Okay, next I'm gonna get this uh, module here out of the way it's got one screw on it So I went ahead and took out these three screws right here. And then next I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so that I can get to this screw under here. All right, so we're gonna take off this uh, motor. Okay, now that that's out of the way, 
Go ahead and take this other screw out. I'm gonna loosen this guy right here. Okay, so I was able to get this out in a very unconventional way. If you don't feel comfortable, that's the new one. Here's the old one. If you don't feel comfortable doing it this way, then I'd advise you to get the actual manufacturer's instructions, do it that way. But in order to save time and not have to pull this out, the plastic on this, this housing is pretty strong. So in essence, what happens is once I take those screws out, you get this enough to work it that way and you get this one off enough get it off of the uh the little spot that it sits in right in here and you're able to kind of bend this section over to pull it out um again not conventional but saves a bunch of time nothing's broken i'm good to go now i just need to wiggle this uh new one in here all right, so now I'm gonna get this box out of the way. There's a bolt here, and then up underneath here, there's a bolt right there, and get those two taken out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these bolts right here that hold this module in place to uh, disconnect it from the bottom of this assembly. I had to plug out the harnesses from this guy to get it out of the way. There was a bracket on the back side, uh, this bracket right here. I had to take that bracket off. I had to uh, use a flathead and there's a spot right there. We had to pry that. And then one in the bottom right here, uh, right here, where I had to uh, pop that out. And what I did is since I had these screws unlo unloosed right here, I popped this up and popped this side up and I worked it in. It's clear that this is not the this is not the method that should be used to get this in here, but it looks like the basically the dash might have to come out in order to get this assembly in. So with that said, this is the best alternative I could come with, come up with. So now I got to put everything back together and uh, get everything situated. So here we go. All right. So as mentioned, this was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but after you get the glove box out the way, you want to remove this bolt here remove these bolts here you're gonna have to pry out that spot there and underneath that spot there in order to get it out and then on this side you're gonna want to take that silver bracket right there you're gonna want to unscrew that it's screwed in with uh two tens i don't know if you can see them from here but there are two 10 millimeters on that side okay so once you get that out then you can uh you can wiggle it down. There's also a screw in the top right up in this section here. Once you tilt it down, you'll be able to get that screw and that'll give you some space to kind of work, um, work to, 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 to move this over as seen previously, kind of I showed you how I popped it up. So that's how I was able to get this new piece in. So I'm gonna get ready to snap in the, um, the little, piece that connects onto the motor and then wrap everything back up finish it off All right, you can see 
how everything's working, everything's good. That damper door is opening and closing the way it should. Just a reminder, when you are changing the um, cabin filter, make sure it's on recirculate. I think that's how this ended up getting broken in the first place. Everything's good to go. Now I just got to get everything wrapped back up, closed off. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll put in a new air filter. All right, what a job that was. Finally got it done. It's all wrapped up. Everything's back to normal. What I did learn is if you do have to change your blower um, motor, you just take this off, take that um, unit that's attached to the bottom, then there's a couple screws under there. You take those screws off and you pull it down and you switch out your blower motor. So a lot less involved with that. But as for this, we are done. I am, I am done with this. I am glad to have a break after doing that job. Some of the easiest jobs end up being some of the hardest jobs. As for this, we're done with this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.